of Derby, England. A lively pub and hotel sits as a mocking reminder of the atrocities that once took place inside. Some people were tortured there, others murdered. Now some believe the old Bell Inn is teeming with spirits. in Derby. It is also believed to be the most haunted. The ghosts come from the fact that there are so many tormented souls. So many unfortunate and innocent people have died here. The walls must be impregnated with, with the anguish, the terror, the pain, the fear that these people must have had. The first ghost that everyone talks about is a ghost called Hermintrude. She was a maid here, a very poorly paid maid, and she used to work in the servants and the cheapest quarters, which were in the attic rooms. But she was found um, uh, the following, uh, following morning after a big gambling evening, uh, tied to a post uh, where she'd been sort of garroted, throat slit. Hotel staff believe the ghost of the murdered servant paid a visit one night. We had a group of uh, six, seven of the bar staff uh, sitting to one of the tables just here, and they were talking. One of the new member staff said, ghost, it's nonsense, they don't exist. She goes, look, I just don't believe, I don't believe a word of it. And the second she said it... Then about 20, 25 glasses exploded on the bar. It was the spookiest, loudest crashing, most memorable noise that you could possibly have. We just went completely, like, in shock for about a few minutes. It certainly, certainly will, will be there forever in a day. Um, and don't, not just for me, for all those people that saw it. It was really, really weird. Tortured spirits are said to be inhabiting every floor of the Old Bell Hotel, especially the cellar. One of the lodgers who lived there was a young doctor. And he was in the habit of having bodies delivered to him by dead of night by the local body snatchers. One night, the corpse of a young woman was delivered to the doctor. He very feverishly started to cut away the stomach, and you can imagine him with his knife slitting the flesh and then pulling it away. And then something terrible happened. She sat up screaming. She'd been buried alive. She tried to run away. She leapt from the table, but you can't run very far when you're tripping over your own entrails. The woman, of course, she'd expired, and the doctor sat there quaking on the ground. A, a wreck. Uh, he was put in an, ins an insane asylum, and that's where he spent the rest of his days. Well, the ghost of the young woman, of course, still haunts the, the cellar. People who sit in the room which is above the cellar where the actual disemboweling took place heard screams emanating from the floor. Really, really do not like coming down here by myself. Yeah. I always get the impression that at times I'm being watched. If I come here by myself, I, I have a radio on full blast and that's it. Yeah. I do not like it. People say they've got ghosts, I've, I've got an open mind about it, but since I've been coming down here and completely convinced now. Yeah. The things I've seen is just incredible. I mean, the, the other week, I walked up these stairs, head down just as you do, you can walk, walk in, check in what's in front of you. When I get to the top of the stairs, there's a young girl there sat there with her, her um, elbows under her chin, her hands under the chin, and just looking at me. I didn't feel anything, I was that bloody frightened. I just run past her, you know. I must have run through her, you know what I mean? And I just, I, you know, it was just incredible. They say a ghost won't hurt you, but when you see one, it might not hurt you, but when you see one uh, for the first time, 
he bloody terrifies you, I tell you. He terrified me. Some believe the hotel stables are inhabited by still another anguished spirit. As they started to do some renovations, just asked to clear out a bit of the rubbish that was upstairs. And whilst I was up there clearing, I heard a like, howling sound. And first of all, I thought it was just the wind. But it started to get a bit louder and I could hear something like crying like a small child. And I went across to the other room where I could hear it from. I couldn't say anything there, it started getting a lot louder. I could hear like a snarling of a dog and a child crying. And I was scared after death. So I don't believe in ghosts, I don't believe in, in spooks and stuff like that. I've always tried to think of like, you know, what else it could have been, but I can't think of any other explanation. When the historian came round, he told us that um, a small stable lad had been in here and had been attacked by one of the dogs they kept here and had his throat torn out by it. Since then, I won't come in here on my own at all. I just can't do it. It's just too scary. Some believe the old Bell's most infamous guest arrived on a winter night in 1587. Mary, Queen of Scots, spent a night in Derby. Her last. When Mary was executed, of course, it took the execution of Simon Bull three blows of his axe to finally sever Mary's head. After the first blow, it bit into the back of her head. She turned towards him, uttering the words, Sweet Jesus! And he told her to put her head back onto the block, and the third blow was struck. Still, it wasn't severed. He had to take his knife and cut the last sinews of Mary's neck holding up the head in front of the crowd. And the final indignation was that she was wearing a red wig, and the head dropped out of the wig and bounced across the scaffold floor. Some say Mary's spirit is still seen at the Old Bell Hotel. We think she's still here. She's been seen by several people as a ghost still floating across the floor. On occasions, she's seen in this particular room where I'm sitting now. And people say, and they say to me, there's no ghost. Well, I can tell you that. I can tell you this, there is ghost. 